There everyone, this is Quan, and welcome to the first video of my XCOM 2 modding tutorial series. Video 1, Setup and Your First Mod. This video will cover installing the XCOM 2 SDK, or Software Development Kit, creating your first mod, and uploading it to the Steam Workshop. If you've never programmed before, or have never made a mod for XCOM, this video is perfect for you. If you've already made XCOM mods and are looking for more specific details, future videos may be of more use. So let's get started. First, you'll notice that I am in the Steam window, and you'll see that I have XCOM 2 installed, like you probably do. You will have to install the Software Development Kit, or SDK, separately. Go to Library, and then Tools, and you will have a list of development tools and server tools for all of your games. Search for the XCOM 2 development tools and install it. This will take a bit because it's approximately 60 gigs. So I'll go ahead and wait for a few seconds while you do so. Okay, I'll assume that you've downloaded and installed it by now. However, it will not work immediately. If it is giving you errors at this point when you run it, that is normal. There are ad additional steps you must take in order to get it to function. First, let's go to Properties. Right-click the Development Tools and click Properties. There, you will see General Updates, Local Files, and Betas. The first thing you want to do is to uncheck Enable the Steam Overlay While in Game. Thank you to Grimy Bunyip for giving me this advice. This makes it so that you can use shift and tab and not have to worry while developing your mods. Very useful to uncheck. Second, go to local files. And then in local files, click browse local files. This will open up the XCOM2 SDK folder. And inside of this are two programs you need to run. The programs are located in the binaries readist folder. The programs are called UE3 Redist, or Unreal Editor 3 Redistributable, and VS ISO Shell, or the Visual Studio Isolated Shell. Install both of these. It should take just a couple seconds, so... <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, that joke's getting a bit old. I will assume that you have installed these two things now. Excellent. Your development environment should be set up at this time. Let's go ahead and begin. Select your development tools and click play game. XCOM 2 SDK will pop up followed by this window, the start page for XCOM Mod Buddy. Make sure you're running it in administrator so nothing bad happens with permissions. And you will see here new mod, open mod, and a recent that will probably be empty for you but will later contain mods you worked on recently. At this time, let's create your first mod. Go ahead and click on New Mod, or go to File, New, Project. This window, the New Project window, will pop up. By default, it will select XCOM 2, and it will have a couple options. Default Mod, Empty Mod, and five nice little examples that we will look at later. <coughs> go ahead and select the default mod. This is a general purpose mod project that should work as a starting point for almost any XCOM 2 mod. Go ahead and name your mod file almost anything you want. I'm going to name it Quan First Mod. Avoid punctuation such as apostrophes, exclamation points, periods. All of this can actually break your mod. Keep it to just text, spaces, numbers. Keep it simple. Click OK and you'll get another window. General information. This will contain a title and a description. Go ahead and keep the title simple as well. Uh, Quan First Mod. We'll just call it that. Babby First Mod. And then a description. The description could be anything. This will show up in the Steam Workshop as your initial description. So this is a test mod. Do not download. Why do you even have this? Excellent. Click Finish and it will say Creating Project First Mod. Okay, now you have created your first mod. Initially, it will open the README saying you created an XCOM2 mod project. This is perfect. 
On the left side, you'll see the Solution Explorer. This is a vital window. This allows you to explore your solution, or project, as all mods are called. The solution file will tell the project what files are inside of it. So below the solution file, you'll see several folders. First is the config folder. This will contain three INI files by default, XCOM Editor, Engine, and Game. These files just perform some administration. They tell you what the mod package's name is, what the non-native package name is, which will usually be the same, and the DLC identifier, which is to say the name of the mod when downloaded. Content by default will be empty. Content will contain things like models, images, sounds, anything that looks and feels nice. Localization will contain almost any text the player sees. So buttons, text displayed, subtitles will all be contained in the localization. By default, this mod does nothing, so nothing's here. Next is SRC or source. The source files are the meat of the game. These contain all of the logic that determines how XCOM functions. Babby First Mod comes with a free class just for you. XCOM DLC Info Babby First Mod. UC. The class name will always match the file name. If it does not, it will give you errors. And this says it extends X2 DLC Info. This means that this class is the same as the DLC Info class, but with more stuff added. And you're given a couple of free functions that allow you to do stuff when you load your saved game or start a new campaign. We'll get more into what those do at a later time. For now, if this is present, then everything's working correctly. Next, you will see the XCOM game folder. This folder contains every single class that determines how XCOM runs. It's a short list of about 2,000 files. And honestly, it will be a bit daunting. It is an enormous amount of code. There is an incredible layer of complexity behind the game's code. Don't worry about it right now. While it is complex, looking at it all will simply overwhelm you and not be useful until you know how to look at what you want to look at. If you know how to search through it, go ahead and search through it, look at what you want. But ultimately, for this mod, we won't need any of these classes. So feel free to delete the XCOM game folder. And the reason you delete this folder is because if you leave that folder, then everyone will download a copy of the XCOM game classes that they already have. And having two copies of the same thing is just not productive. It's no reason to do that. So go ahead and delete it. Next, you will see modpreview.jpg. This is just an image, and this will be the first image that anybody sees when searching your mod. And for our purposes, it doesn't matter what it looks like. So I'm just going to write stupid crap, save it, and that will show up in the Steam Workshop. The README is just a text file that people will see when they download the mod and look in the folder. This file doesn't do anything. It's just for you to leave notes for people. Don't worry too much about what you put here, just type anything. And now we will compile our first mod. To turn your mod into a functioning mod, you'll need to go to the build window and click build solution. There is a shortcut for this, control shift B. And when you do that, a bunch of stuff will appear below. Now while this is running, go ahead and go to tools, options, and then select projects and solutions. And in that, there's a subcategory, Build and Run. In Build and Run, there is a set of categories, MS Build Project Build, MS Build Project Build Output Verbosity, and MS Build Project Build Log File Verbosity. Go ahead and set these to normal, detailed, something above minimal. This will allow you to more easily see when errors appear. Now, when your build finishes, which may take differing amounts of time depending on your computer, you will see scripts successfully compiled saving package. And you'll see that it saves it into uh, a script file located somewhere, not too important. And you'll see that it creates a package 
in your XCOM 2 SDK, XCOM game mods, Babby first mod location. That will be where your completed mod is. And if it says build one succeeded, then perfect. If it says failed, then usually it will show errors above it. And it'll say, usually here, uh, errors, and then say what the errors are. Now you've created your first mod. Excellent. How do you test it? To test it, go ahead and go to debug, and then click start debugging. The hotkey for this is F5. This is vital. Always test your mods before you upload them. If you crash people's games, they're going to be sad, they're going to yell at you, it's not going to be pleasant. Don't crash people's games. That's mean and dumb and stupid and dumb. Anyway, when you debug, it'll pop up a list of the mods. Go ahead and select the mod that you created, which is Babby First Mod, or whatever you named it, and click play. And this will launch XCOM 2. <coughs> uh, I apologize, I'm losing my voice. Worst time to make a video. So, intro videos, skip that, skip that, nobody cares about that. And you will arrive at a somewhat modified main menu. It'll say tactical, strategy, load game, load replay, and it will have a bunch of uh, different options in the top right. These are the debug options. You have far more power as a mod developer than you do as, as a normal player. You can look at these options later, and we'll go into these options and the powers you get when debugging your mod at a later time. For now though, if this loaded properly, then your mod is functioning, since it doesn't actually do anything. But that's okay, mod doesn't need to do anything. It's a mod, it's fine, it's cool. So go ahead and close the debug, and this black window will disappear, and the program start debugging.bat is exited with code zero. Everything has worked properly, let's publish the mod. To publish your mod, go to Tools, and then click Publish Mod. It is the first option. This will open the Upload to Steam Workshop window. It will give you the mod title and the mod description that you filled in earlier. You can change those now if you wish. And once they suit your needs, go ahead and go to Upload and Create an Upload Mod. It will say there's a new mod getting a published file ID from Valve. Item creation success. Publishing ID is the ID of your new mod. It will have a number associated with it. Success. The mod was uploaded. Follow this link to view your uploaded mod. Now, if you try to do this and it opens in another browser, you may not be able to see it. It may say this item does not exist. That is okay. Go to your Steam page. Go to your profile and go to Workshop Items. There, you will be able to see your first mod. Now you might ask, why doesn't it show up for other people? This is because anytime you upload a mod, it will automatically be set to hidden. This item will only be visible to you, administrators, and anyone mar marked as a creator, which by default is just you. But here you go. Your mod image, your mod title, mod title, your description, comments, links, and you can edit the title description, edit the images, and remove people as contributors, ex edit the links, delete this, change the visibility to hidden, friends only, or public, if you want people to see this for some god awful reason. Uh, and you can also add and remove requirements if your mod depends on other mods. So, incredibly useful. And if you see this window, you've done it. You've uploaded your first mod. Good job, and now you know exactly how to do this. However, there is one more thing I'd like you to check. There is a set of utilities that we have not looked at in the modding tools, and that is the XCOM 2 editor. This is the last thing to check to make sure that your modding tools are set up correctly. So go to Tools, XCOM 2 Editor. It will open this window, Unreal Editor for XCOM 2, and it will start loading a bunch of stuff. If it asks you to log into something, just tell it that you'd rather not, and it'll be like, lol, okay. It'll take a little while, and it will give you an error 
if your installation's anything like me, warning editors, asset database, and can, blah, 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 nobody cares. Error doesn't matter. Doesn't mean anything. This window will pop up. Unreal Editor for XCOM 2. And it'll say Startup Tips. And it'll say Following Resources Were Not Found. We don't care about any of that. Yeah, okay, whatever. Uh, startup Tips. These are pretty cool. You can look through it. Uh, doesn't matter too much. What's important is the content browser. This contains everything that is an animation, a sound, a model, a texture, a mesh, uh, a sparkle, an archetype, lighting, anything that the player sees tends to be in these files. There's over 200,000 of them. You have access to all of them. If you're able to open this window and select all assets and see this enormous list, then congratulations. Your modding tools are 100% perfectly installed. And if you ever lose the window, you can hit Control, Shift, and F to make it reappear. In the background is the map editor. Don't worry too much about that. Incredibly complicated stuff. Just know that if this is showing up, you're ready to make a mod that uses assets. And this editor is not necessary if you're not doing anything with models or animations or sounds. But if you are, you'll want to use this. So, if that popped up, then you are prepared to make anything. Next time on Quan's Tutorials, Video 2, How to Find What You're Looking For and How to Read Code. See you next time. <sighs> okay, so this was my first tutorial video. And if you liked it, want to see more, go ahead and like subscribe. Oh, fucking, it's YouTube. You know how YouTube works. However, I would like to ask for a favor from all of you who have watched this video through. I want you to criticize the fuck out of this video. And before you get all excited and say, oh, I'm going to insult him in all the worst ways imaginable. Okay, no. I have one caveat. When you criticize me, do it in a constructive way. Instead of saying my voice is stupid, which I know it is, and I can't do much about that, be like, this is what you should change. Your microphone levels should be changed. Watch for the sounds. Try to talk with better pacing. Talk about these things. Don't talk about these things. Be useful about it. I'm making this video so people can learn, and I want to make sure that I teach people in the most effective way possible. And yes, this video was very basic. I will be getting into more complicated things in the future. So, if this was below your level, I apologize for that. I just want to make sure everyone's on the same pace. That being said, thank you for watching the video, and I'll see you next time.